Welcome back. Day four, we are going to be adding on some values today. So on the last tutorial, we finished up our color. Everything is already in shapes. And now we're going to start to move into a little bit more of that 3D phase where we're going to be adding on our, our values, some cast shadows, some drop shadows, and then we are going to be adding on some gradients to kind of smooth everything out. So what we are going to look to do is we have our flat color and I'm going to duplicate this out twice. One, select it, two. Now on this one, let's call this one gradients. That'll be for the next one. This one will be for shadows. All right, now why I like doing this first is when we do our shadows, we're going to actually start to cut into our nice big shapes. So why we want to do this right now is for, let's say our, our gradients. I want it to have a gradient go over that entire skin color or the, the mouth one or just the ears without having to worry about all of the little mini shapes that we're basically going to start cutting into it and hacking it up with. So I want that one ready to go. I'm going to hide it so we can see what we're going to be doing on our shadow layer and I do want to lock out the flat color. So I'm going to be working just on shadows. Okay, so with shadows. Do remember that we still have our line work above, so some easy ways of moving forward. I can say, hey, I want to just do some values to the ears, and I want to go up one. I'm going to go shift B, and then I can basically just come in with the blob brush. Shift E. Just see which layer we are on, make sure. There we go. And then I can be just going in that way. So that would be one way where I can still just be using blob brush. I think it is an easy way of doing it. But we already have the shapes. We've already duplicated those shapes. So it's kind of silly and redundant to do it again. So let's just do the version that I personally like. If I go into our little menu that we've been using, I'm going to drop down to this knife tool. Now when I say knife tool... Just so you're not getting confused, this one looks eerily similar to our slice tool. Don't touch that one. Just do. The, the knife is really, really easy, and it's very user-friendly. So what we're going to do is let's just zoom in. Now, our light source is going to be coming from kind of uh, upper left-hand corner down. So everything that is moving away from us. So I'm going to select my shape first, and I'm just double-checking. Things are still... Let's ungroup. Good, good, good. All right, so I'm going to select my shape. So whenever we're using the knife tool, select the shape you want to cut first. I'm going to come in and let's just go nice and smooth. And there is a little bit of a smooth, smoothing feature. I usually have to deselect, come on back, and then all we're going to do is up one. Maybe this one will have a tiny one. Let's just do a tiny bit. So notice that I am deselecting, by the way. Good. I'm going to say that's going to be a highlight. That's going to be a highlight. I have ungrouped it. I'm going to select it. Saw. Let's just say it's going to come through here. That's going to come through here. Really, the only little tidbit with this knife tool is to just go all the way through the shape. I'm going to up one. I'm going to start with just adding just going up one value and let's just see how that plays out let's select this one again and again let's just zoom in so you guys can see what we're doing I'm gonna start within our stroke I'm gonna come on up it's gonna try and smooth it out as best it can deselect come on back and then just up one if at any point, let's just kind of let's do a a bad one so you can see it. If I say, "Hey, I want a, a value," and I just go through it, so notice that each one of these ends didn't connect. It, I didn't cut the shape. If I deselect and come back and say, "Hey, up one," if that whole shape goes in colors, it just means you didn't go all the way through. And a lot of the times, it's not this obvious. A lot of the times. 
those little edges are hanging super, super close to that edge line, and you just didn't go all the way through it. So that is a little tidbit. I want this area to be the highlights. Let's save this little fold. It's going to drop on down. Up one. Good. Now let's just say, let's, let's give you some other little options. I'm just using my straight line, but you could totally use the pen tool. Let's just say I want a nice line going all the way across. And I'm just going to make sure it goes right into that guy. So let's just do a different little version. I'm going to select this. I'm going to hold down shift. I'm going to select my line. And what I'm going to do is for Pathfinder, there is divide. And I think it's probably the easiest Pathfinder to start with. So it just divided my shapes. There's just one little extra step involved. I have to come in and I have to ungroup. And then I can just drop on down and I say, hey, that's the one I want. And then I can color that one up. And if I say, hey, there's two shapes here. And if I want those to be together, I can always unite those shapes. And Pathfinder will, will do that for us. All right, let's keep it going. That's going to be light. I'm just thinking of where I want shadows to go. Let's say there's going to be a nice... So this is going to be a fold. I want a value on the opposite side. Pop. Pop. This one is... Let's just go right. Good. Now, if you ever come over here, we can always unite that shape. So that's not really a big deal. All right. Let's grab this shape. So notice right now this... Is going to go all the way through. So I want to have this one to be a little bit separate. So if I deselect. I just want that shape. So notice that if I didn't have that little line. It's just going to flow all the way over. Good. Now I can unite it. And I'll get rid of those little strays. Let's just go up one. Now I can do try and do it in one big smooth one, and or I can always break it down into. Remember to go all the way through. Deselect. And I'm going to unite. Anytime you get those little strays, I just say, just do a little bit of a, a unite. Let's say there'll be a little bit of a drop one right under here. Good, good, good. I'm just thinking of where my values would go. Let's just say there's going to be one going right through here. So I just want this little bit of a crease. Good. Good. Let's say there'll be one through here. Let's do one up for that face. Let's do one under here. Just remember, hold down shift. Good. Let's unite those up. Let's just zoom in on this nose. So I want this fold is going to make a little bit of a shadow above that nose. And it's going to have that little dip. Just go up one. Let's color our nose. Let's just zoom in. Now I'm going to use my straight line again. I just want more control over it. Straight line down. Straight line down. I'm hold down shift, by the way. And I want that one. Let's go divide. Deselect. I'm just going to ungroup. Color that up. You want to get fancy? Okay, let's grab this. Let's say the tongue. There's going to be one right there. Do it again since it's bumpy. And if this is really getting bumpy, always just be aware that you can totally do circles. Let's do a circle for one. Let's just show you. Let's show you. So let's just say, just seeing where a good value is. All right, let's say it. I want a nice circle coming through here. I'm going to take my circle. 
Nice little ellipse. I want to basically have nothing. I'm just going to draw out a nice little ellipse. I'm just thinking of where I want a value to go. Okay, so I want my line selected. Hold down shift, grab your chin. Come over. Let's just do divide. I want to select it, ungroup. Just notice this little deselect, by the way. Your lives are going to be super happy if you just get into the habit of just deselecting. You do it a lot more frequently than you think. Good. I do want one on that other side. So I'm going to select the face. Again, come back to our knife. I just want one that's coming through. Nice and smooth. Good. Let's just say it's going to follow that cheek shape. And this is all about repetition. All about repetition. Oh, let's do another circle right here. That looks like a perfect opportunity to do a circle. Good. Let's zoom in. Notice there's no fill. I just want to see where I want that to go through that shape. Go C. Click on Delete. You should just be left with this little guy down here. Notice I'm on black arrow. Hold down Shift. Again, Pathfinder. I'm doing the divide. Let's just deselect. I'm coming back selecting. Ungroup. Notice I deselect. And you'll be able to tell if you're trying to color it and made like big things that are, you, hey, I just cut this thing, I just divided, I ungrouped, and it's still coloring everything. A lot of the times it just means I need to deselect and I just want to say, I'm selecting this area, and so it'll it'll deselect the, the other two shapes. So a lot of times it's just that little tiny thing that will drive you guys bonkers. So <laughs> just be aware of it. All right, so I'm going to grab that one there. Let's do a simple version. Let's do knife. I just want that one to come right through into our eyebrow right there. Now I want that one to be united. Let's just get rid of that weird little stray. I know it's been bugging you guys. Let's say there'll be a little, little tiny guy there. Right through there. Just get fancy. This whole side's gonna be pretty dark. That's gonna be a highlight. And there's no harm if you go all the way through it, by the way. Good. Deselect. Let's say there'll be a nice little shadow underneath that ear here. Grab the ear. Don't worry, guys. We are almost done. One. Two. Let's unite that up. Just seeing if there's anything else I want. I might just want a nice little circle. just do something like that so I'm just grabbing all those shapes just testing stuff out see how I like it mm, getting fancy okay let's unite those guys let's just grab those shapes let's unite those now if why we, we are uniting those just so everyone is aware is sometimes those little stray lines you can actually see them so just if you're uniting them, you won't get any really weird, faint little lines. All right, I want to simplify that shape, and I think we're probably pretty good to go. That's going to come up. And then I want it to wrap on over. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm just looking for any little other things. I say file save. Good, good, good. Now, we could get fancy. We could add some more stuff, but I would say... For the most part, I think most of you guys are probably pretty happy with that. Friends and family are going to be blown away that you did that one. Okay, sweet. Challenge, right? So I want to just kind of take a little second here to just kind of recap. One, the process itself, the hard part was just thinking about where the values are going to go. That was the hard part. 
the part with the knife tool, very, very simple. So everything is very, very clean. I just have to select the areas, cut all the way through them. Okay, so the next one we are gonna be adding on our gradients to this. It's gonna be very, very subtle and we can kind of play around with it, but the next one is going to be a little bit easier. I would actually say it's gonna be a lot easier. The computer will do most of the work. This one was just figuring out where the values are gonna go. So especially if we are looking at any cartoon dealing with a three-dimensional type of lighting, it's just gonna take a little bit of a thought process on where things are gonna go. So the shadows are dumb. If you wanted to add on some highlight shapes, we could do that but we might do that after we do the gradients just so we can kind of see if there's anything we want to pop back out. So I will see you guys on the next one. This one was a challenge. So if you guys made it through it, give yourselves a little bit of a high five, celebrate, and I will see you guys on the next tutorial where we're going to finish this thing up with some gradients.